question you need to ask yourself before you get in the truck in, or if you're not an owner operator yet, you need to ask yourself, are you easy to kill or are you hard to kill? What do you mean by that? Are you willing to go through whatever it takes to get to whatever your destination or your goal in this life is? You gotta have purpose and be goal driven when you out here. You gotta be doing it for, you can't just be doing it for the money. You gotta do it for your family, for the lifestyle, or for like a goal that you're trying to reach. Cause that will keep you motivated to um, strive through all the hardships and um, tribulations you'll go through out here on the road. Because you're gonna face all type of stuff like stuff that I can't even name right now because there's so many uh, obstacles that you will have to go through. But like buying a truck right now, if I was like becoming an owner operator right now, I would like do research on everything I need to be able to to do. Like I need to know how to book loads. I need to know how to go and find the right truck, like the amount of miles is on it, the, the type of engine that it has. Um, if you want to do a cash truck, like I would, I would do the cash truck and just sit it somewhere until I have enough money to build it up. Like it's a marathon, not a sprint. Like if you want to have longevity out here, you got to think about it as a marathon and think about everything that you really gotta, gotta accomplish to get to your end goal. Cause right now everybody is falling out of trucking. So it's so many trucks out there on the market. So you can easily find a truck for a price that was way cheaper than it was like two years ago when everybody was getting in the trucking. You got to have the heart of a champion. You got to have the heart of just knowing that you're not going to give up because this is hard out here. Like it's, it's, it's harder. This is probably the, I've only been driving trucks since 2016. So like that time span, this is most definitely the hardest period. And I, I like, picked up nuggets throughout the time of me being out here that have been able to help me grow and continue to, cause I'm reaping the benefits of the stuff that I remember from when I first got out here. The rates were high, then they dropped. And I was, I was so like focused on like, oh, the rates gonna be like this all the time. And then when I realized that it's not like that, that's not how the market works. It made me like rethink and refocus on how to operate when I'm out here. Like if you can build a business right now to function in this market, you can survive any market. Like you can literally survive any market because having a truck that's not too high of a payment, not too much maintenance going on with it. And you knowing it, you got to know your truck like you know yourself. Like you got to know everything about it. And people always talk about how everything was back in the day. It's a way more competitive industry now. So in order for you to stand out from everyone else you gotta you gotta do stuff that everybody else don't want to do at the end of the day if this is what you really want to do you'll make the sacrifices to make sure that the job gets done you will not be easy to kill you'll be hard to kill you'll be you will never get killed like no, all the dot and all the law enforcement and all the stuff that goes into trucking like you you're not gonna let that stuff stop you you're just gonna keep going and growing and you'll make it you just gotta believe it it feels scary to jump, Ian. That is exactly when you jump. Otherwise, you end up staying in the same place your whole life. And that I can't do. Just came over here to Best One Tires. Got some Firestone steers put on. My drives are pretty good. I, I got like three tires to replace some old ones I had on there that wasn't pretty good. But the rest of them got pretty good tread life. So I... I bought the Firestones. I usually go at Firestone or Bridgestone, but Firestone is more affordable right now. It's about like 500 a tire, so I went with them. Right now I'm getting my steer tires and drive tires aligned. I'm getting a full alignment done on the truck. I'm just waiting on buttoning up everything down there and we're gonna go from there. So last night I was opening my door and my key just broke in half on me and got stuck in this lock right here. 
now I got to take off this panel right quick, pull the lock out, and take it somewhere to get it extracted. Yeah. Just taking a picture for them. Got three new keys made. Make sure this don't ever happen again. All right, East lock and key service. Man, I first heard that. I was like, man, what is that noise? I thought something was on my truck. But it's the damn, I don't know what that is. I think it's over there. It's churning something. Getting loaded in here. I just had to back in. stuff right here this L F blend or whatever girl back there loaded me right now she whooping and flipping and skipping and hipping <laughs> so like the Migos <laughs> but she driving that port lip I ain't never seen nobody drive it better yeah it's me huh threw about 13 straps on it let's roll They can get me like four of them for like four hundred dollars, so it's a good deal. Just waiting on my Uber to get here. They was trying to charge me double the price for the batteries over at this TA, so I'm like, nah, I'm straight. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. each other because I noticed they had a little bit of freeing on the side of the last uh, box because it was rubbing over here so hopefully that'll keep them in place Let's see if it cranks up Years later. 
I'm down here in Miami about to go and pick up a load. It's a load of air handlers. Pretty much, um, they use those like at construction sites and places to like, if you have a reefer load or something, and like, let's say you're delivering to like a, a refrigerated warehouse, and let's say their refrigerators go out, they would rent those air handlers to keep the place cold, like, cause it can get as cold as like, negative 10 degrees or something like that so that's pretty much how they cope with if their air conditioning not air conditioning but refrigerators just go out in places like that but let's get right back into the video just got through strapping on the loads really solid load taking it up here to Batavia, Ohio Picked up at this out here in downtown Miami. Safe travels for me and safe travels for you all. Blessings. It's something like this. Like a street like that. It's like one street when they got <laughs> I'm saying either way, I'm gonna have to come back up on Cedar Street right here. Oh, okay. So, so you, know, you better go to hop on the highway. Yeah, yeah. Either way, I gotta hop on that bit because I gotta go north to go. Uh -huh. I'm headed to Ohio, so I gotta go to like towards Jacksonville. Go this way. Huh? Cause this way, because I live north, so oh, this is the way I usually take. It might take a little bit longer because you're going through more lights, but at least it, at least the purpose of going through traffic and getting stuck. Well, let me. See. Would would I just go straight? Uh, yeah, you don't have to go straight because if you're going north, there's a highway here, but there's another highway over there. Which but way? the only problem is that it's a tight turn when you're Damn. not trying to hop on the highway. That's the only problem with over there. That's a tight <laughs> turn. Wow. And I don't, you got to go wide, like wide, like to the, basically to this, go on this way, lane, and then make that turn. So it's going to be like a, almost like a U-turn? Basically, but it's not a U-turn. Like I'm telling you, it's like one, it's like one street just for that turn lane. Once you turn, it's only one street. And then you can just pull right in. Yeah, and then you pull it right into the highway. I love Miami for vacation purposes, but when I'm down here for work and this traffic is, I think they had like some type of festival or some bike, um, like um, bicycle um, race or something going on. They had all the streets blocked off, so traffic was really bad when I was trying to leave. It was like a, it was like a Saturday when I was leaving here, so it was like a lot of festivities going on. But eventually, I got up out of there.
amazing view from this fire pit. I'm out here in Georgia at this bridge mill. And this is cat back here. Hello. You know what I'm saying? don't have a heart, if you don't have that grit, if you don't have that soldier or warrior mentality, then you're going to fold. Mickey's way over here. Get unloaded and head on out. Almost done getting unloaded now. I love when the sign's coming up. Everything unloaded. Let's go ahead and get on up out of here. Next load picking up in Muncie, Indiana. I got there in probably like two hours. And let's head down there to Mesa, Arizona. Then back on our west. This will be a storm coming kind of through here later this week. I was watching Ryan Hall. He was saying this will be a storm coming kind of through like the Midwest.